What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be unboxing all of these WWE Elite figures right here. We're going to review all of them as well. We probably won't take a close, close look at AJ because I've looked at him before, but we will do a little overview. We have the brand new Walmart exclusive WWE flashback series with the Build a SummerSlam interview set from 1989, I believe. A lot of awesome figures in this set. We get four brand new figures here, Mean Gene. Ultimate Warrior 6 and Yokozuna. We're going to crack all of them out of their packaging, take a look at what they come with and all that good jazz, and let's go ahead and get into all right, it. Alright so starting out first we have Ultimate Warrior in his beautiful USA gear right here. He comes with two, or I guess you could say three different accessories. He does come with this little staff right here and it's in two pieces in the packaging. Be careful because when I popped it out it kind of flew all over the place and it was pretty crazy, but all this does is you take it and you just plug it in right here and there you go and I'm gonna be completely honest with you I have no idea what this is supposed to be I don't know anything about this moment or anything so be sure to let me know down in the comment section below but it also comes with the winged WWE championship with the blue strap very beautiful championship I love this blue color on the strap it's very saturated. It looks absolutely incredible. This is the second time I have gotten this belt, so only two of these in my collection. They look fantastic on the figure as well, so just look at how beautiful that is. It comes with the camera from the uh, for the Build-A-Figure set or Build-An-Interview set, and it looks incredible. I love the... Uh, the height of it is nice and it will look very nice in the backstage area so I'm very glad to pick this thing up. It comes in three separate pieces. You have the stand, the pole, and then the camera of course that plugs in very easily. But now we can get into the figure itself. It is a very nice Ultimate Warrior guys. Look at this head scan. It looks incredible. Um, I really do love this. We've seen this head scan before but not with this face paint. I just love the colors contrasting together. Your obvious uh, Ultimate Warrior body mold looks nice. All of the colors bouncing off this thing looks amazing. I think it's the uh, color of his skin tone just really makes it pop off. Like if he, if he was like Sheamus's color, I don't think it would pop off as nice. But with this dark complexion on there, it looks very, very clean. And all of the beautiful just white cleanliness with the red, white, and blue all tied together very much does look great. So I'm very excited to pick up this Ultimate Warrior. Here's a shot of the back. I love this warrior logo on the back with the American flag in there. That is so dope. But now that we've covered warrior, guys, let's move on to the next figure. Next up, guys, we have the Elite Mean Gene Okerlund looking very, very nice. He comes with some nice accessories as well. We get his microphone right here, signature microphone for him to hold. You know, we got a similar microphone with the Howard Finkel build a figure set. It's not the same exact one, but it does look very, very similar. Classic WWE logo on there because they can't give us the WWF. It also comes with this interchangeable arms and jacket. So you get the red arms and the red jacket if you were uh, if you wanted to switch it out. I don't think I'm going to do it here on camera, but um, I think it does look very clean. I love the uh, color scheme that we're getting with Mean Gene. That navy with the khaki looks amazing. And I hate to say it, but I may have to turn Mean Gene into myself because I want to have myself looking swag. You know, um, Trey White over there on commentary. I want him to look fresh. So we'll see what uh, Trey White gets to wear soon enough. But he also comes with this light stand. You know, he has... Uh, Ultimate Warrior came with the camera, and this is the light to, um, you know, give us proper lighting for our inter interviews and all that good jazz backstage. But getting into the figure right here, guys, very good head scan up top. I am um, loving this figure because I actually met Mean Gene yesterday, so it's pretty crazy that I'm reviewing his figure. Um, navy suit here, looking very clean. Got gold buckles on there for the buttons and everything. Classic WWE logo over here, red tie. We have seen this mold before. The arms are pretty freaking tight there, but um, I am loving the khaki pants we are getting with this guy. And we get the black uh, shoes to tie it all together. But again, a very nice Mean Gene. I would definitely recommend this, guys. Especially if you're a flashback collector, you got to pick up Mean Gene for your classic setups and everything. But again, I may have to put myself in this outfit because he is just looking so freaking fresh. But now that we've covered him, let's move on to the next figure. Next up guys, we have the Elite Six figure or X-Pac, whatever you want to call him. But he comes with a slew of accessories. First up, we got this entrance shirt with the NWO on there looking very, very nice. You know, we got this same exact shirt with the um, the first X-Pac, the Elite 33, I believe it was, but it had the D-Generation X logo on there. So I guess that's just a trend that you get 
On the back, you have the six ball there, looking very great as well. Um, I remember when we were getting the, uh, when we saw these images at Comic Con, I remember it was like this, and I was very, very confused. I thought this was going to be the front of the shirt, and I was just so confused. But we also have some sunglasses for him to rock, and we get a can of spray paint looking very nice as well with the, uh, there's no logos on there, but it does look great. And it comes with this back uh, little interview area right here. As you see, it comes with a little ports right here on the sides that you slide in there, and this is supposed to be the backdrop. I think the last piece is with Yokozuna over here um, to plug in right there. That's why it looks so weird, but I am loving this little piece. It's like a solid piece of plastic, but the figure looks great. You know, it pretty much is just a repaint of the Elite X-Pac, but we get this same head scan, red headband instead of black like last time. I do like this head scan. I think it looks just like X-Pac or six but he has the singlet here it's got thug on the front there nothing on the back got notorious on his butt and we have six pock on the side six pock over there i'm loving his kick pads with the little uh wing sort of designs with the red gold and black looking very clean same knee pads as from x pock and i'm hating these new arms man i freaking hate what they're doing with the articulation but this is a nice figure i do enjoy this i always was a huge fan of x pock growing up didn't get to witness much of his career obviously because i came in sort of on the tail end there but he is an amazing guy and i guess i can go ahead and show you guys a comparison with x pock right here that way we can get the side by side I definitely like the D-Generation X one more, but this is still a very cool flashback figure. Up next, guys, we have Yokozuna finishing off our little background set here. He did come with this SummerSlam logo that just plugs into the background. Like I said, he comes with this freaking amazing checkerboard robe that he wore during his career. This figure is very big and bulky, guys, like very, very massive. He's sort of hard to stand around and stuff. However, I do like the figure. I like the Hall of Fame head scan better. I don't think this resembles Yokozuna as much as the other one, but it is still a good figure. If you're a fan of Yokozuna, you know, a flashback collector, um, this checkerboard robe is fantastic, but you've got to be careful because the, uh, the the belt that wraps around it, you know, to tie it and keep it tight, does come separately, so you definitely don't want to lose that. If you lose that, you won't ever be able to tie your, um, you won't be able to ever tie your robe shut, so you got to definitely be careful with that. But it is amazing. It's very uh, detailed. It's cloth, so it's a lot better than the rubber trash. And this Yokozuna, again, like I said, you got the black pants. You got the uh, red. I don't even know what you would call that. The crotch piece there is in red. It's like the belt, if you will. And you know his Hall of Fame figure does have white pants with black. So I think I like this better just because, you know, we get some red in there. I think the Elite 20 is red pants with black if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but we have had three yokozunas now and i used to have the hall of fame one but i i had two of them but i sold both of those because it was just sort of taking up space but i do want to reclaim that figure to you know do some comparisons with this one but now that we covered that guys let's get into the last figure on this video and the last figure real quick guys we have the elite 56 aj styles that we did pick up from ringsidecollectibles.com you can get this thing over there. If you use the promo code MDT, you'll save 10% over there. They're having a Valentine's Day sale right now, so definitely go check that out. But this figure is incredible. Again, I did do a full figure review on this. If you'd like to check that out, it is on the channel. Um, a lot of people do have this problem with it. The P1 logo didn't completely um, get painted, so you do have to touch that up with black. However, this figure is phenomenal. Pun intended, I love the head scan. This was number 10 on my top 10 figures of the year. You get the entrance vest with the P1 logo on the back, P1 elbow pad, and I just love the blue attire, love the kick pads. Everything about this figure is absolutely great. I do hate the torso, however, but um, I'll probably do my simple fix-up that I always do, torso swap with the decals to uh, give them a better look. Um, it does come with the hooded option and the hoodie down option, but I don't even throw the thing on there because it's really bulky and gets in the way. But I do love this figure, and I'm very happy to have one of my own because I had to ship my last one off to BEW, but this freaking AJ Styles is so effing nice. But yes, guys, that is all of the figures we have today on this little WWE figure unboxing video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like down below. Try to get this video to 200 likes if we can. Comment down below what you think of all these figures. I would definitely recommend all of these things, guys, because the SummerSlam backstage little interview set is amazing, and Elite 56 AJ Styles is Elite 56 AJ Styles. Look at that head scan. That's beautiful. Blue attire, amazing. You definitely need to add elbow or knee pads, and you definitely need to do a torso swap, honestly, because AJ's bigger than that. But besides those things, amazing figure. 
But subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.